What's going on guys? My name is Batman Darkman and do you like the creepy music in the background? I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> um, I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. Uh, zombies. I know that I've said that I'm not going to post any um, Call of Duty for a while, but I did not say that I will uh, that I will post uh, zombies. So here you go. I didn't uh, uh, potentially fulfill that uh, promise that I won't play Call of Duty for a while. But um, no, I just won't play the multiplayer. I haven't like I'm sorry, Treyarch, but uh, and Call of Duty in general. But I'm just getting bored and uh, I want to try out new games, but. Call of Duty Black Ops is the only thing I have at the moment, so uh, I'll t I'm trying to find a way to get some new games. So uh, if you guys don't mind, please just uh, stick around with me in uh, Black Ops some more for like zombies purposes only. So uh, I I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering by now why are you uh, why am I uh, putting music in the background? Well, actually for no reason at all actually. Uh, <laughs> just to entertain you guys just a little bit more if, if this actually works and um, also I just want to release a few zombie tips and tricks uh, in this video so hopefully you guys uh, have went this far um, and here is the second song in just a few seconds also guys um, so anyways uh, step by step I'm going to show you how to be just a little bit better in your uh, zombies gameplay. Uh, uh, number one rule: stay. Uh, <laughs> number one rule: if you want to play zombies, be patient. Because if you if you plan on playing with zombies and your friends, then uh, and you want to reach a high level, you have to have patience. You have to have patience. Even when you're down, you um, I I've seen this, I've heard this a lot. Someone always complains that they're down. Like whenever they're down, I I, I mean for this example, um, I mean for example, uh, they would like go it's like revive me, they revive me. They just keep on screaming it into their mic, like uh like um they're actually gonna die, um <laughs> in real life for some reason. I don't understand that. You guys have to have patience. If you if you plan on playing zombies, you have to have patience. That is the number one rule. If you guys heard me clapping, um, that sounded wrong for a second. So, uh, number one rule: patience. Second rule: always, always buy Juggernog or Juggernaut. I, I like saying Juggernaut because it sounds it makes me sound like a Juggernaut whenever I play zombies. But anyways. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I want you to buy Juggernaut. This will increase your health, uh, possibly four times more. So it'll take five hits maybe for the zombies to um, take you out. But usually, um, if you guys get in tough situations such as corners or like uh, you're getting trapped by zombies in like a certain wall, they're just like they're just lining lining it up and you happen to be in the front and there's more zombies coming for you in the front I'm it's kinda hard for the to explain the scenario but um but I'm pretty sure at least one of you will know what I'm talking about so number one I mean <laughs> number uh, four always 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 do wave trains if you plan on doing zombies uh, I recommend uh, finding a very open spot so you can do wave trains such as the moon um, such as uh, the part in moon and I'm sorry guys I was lagging so much in this part I didn't, I didn't even know I was playing solo by myself I didn't even know I didn't even know what's going on because I'm in solo why would I lag that's pretty stupid it's probably because of my disc because uh, black ops is uh, my black ops disc is broken so um, I just downloaded downloaded it to my hard drive, and um, I, I, just a few bugs. Uh, I get along with it sometimes, but not too occasionally. So, anyways, off topic. What the fuck? Um, fifth rule. Um, I recommend on buying wall guns. I recommend on uh, not upgrading your gun so much because you will lose a ton of points if you do. Five thousand. That's a lot of money. 
and uh, if you guys have noticed earlier, I had like uh, 8,000, and you'd wa and I'm pretty sure one of you guys were looking at the score, and you're like, pack a punch your gun, pack a punch your gun, but uh, like when you saw me when I had 8,000, I still didn't um, pack punch my gun because I wanted more points. So just in case if uh, I lose um, if I lose ammo or something like that, uh, I would uh, what is it? I would save up some more points so I could uh, get Juggernog. And basically, um, when you have uh, the normal weapon, do not pack a punch it until um, until you run out of ammo. Like like that right there. Um, I was just being impatient a little bit. <laughs> Remember, guys, rule number one: impatience is not good. Um, actually, that's rule number one and a half. But anyways. Um, I recommend getting good guns. I recommend hitting the box once in a while. I'll try getting the the power weapons. Um, uh, I got the wave gun earlier. It was pretty sick. Um, what is it? The zap gun. That was pretty damn awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, using that <laughs> um, earlier. But apparently, um, the person I was playing with earlier he rage quitted. So that pissed me off a little bit. Uh, I didn't get to use more of the zap gun or wave gun, whatever you're, you like to call it. So, um, yeah. Step 7. I think I passed step 6. Well, um, yeah, step 6. Uh, hmm. I definitely recommend if you guys would uh, do it at least yourself or play it uh, with another person in particular. Never always uh, play four players by yourself I mean four players uh, in general just um, it will make you it will make you very disorganized um, one of you guys would like leave um, the squad and that guy that left the squad that is stupid such as me sometimes I, I just leave um, my zombie teammates uh, sometimes alone and I would die myself so it's I always blame it on myself because I always just wander off because I'm more of a solo player and um, yeah I'm gonna try getting into a uh, just one and one other person just to help me out in waves and shit so anyways um, uh, step seven is is it is, is, is um, try to confuse the zombies. Try to do, try to do a zigzag while you're while you're trying to do um, while you're trying to do the wave train. If you guys still don't know what the wave train train is, and you're hoping for me to explain it, well, um, the wave train is actually uh, a, a, a huddle of zombies behind you, and you're just going around in circles and circles, such as you are seeing right now. And uh, the reason why I'm not dying is because remember step. Two, I think. Yeah, Juggernaut. And look at that achievement. Yeah, I did awesome. And um, I had very much fun in this gameplay, but um, unfortunately, um, after I uh, turned off recording, I died because I was trying to turn off the excavator when I was at the moon. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, um, that was my seven steps on how to play a little bit better in zombies. Hopefully, you guys will take advantage of that and use my tips wisely. If you guys are already uh, pro zombie players that is just watching my video, um, I, I very much appreciate it if you guys would leave a like and comment. And most of all, please subscribe because uh, I really want to get out there. Um, everyone wants to go out, get out there in the YouTube community. I want to be just a little bit seen, you know? Um, that, I would very much love you guys all if you subscribe, and, uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna leave you guys right to it, um, hopefully, uh, you enjoy this video, remember, remember, keep the seven steps in your head. Alright guys, I'll see you, um, in the next episode, talk to you guys later, take it easy, peace.